Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the round of 32 match between Truk and Andy Davo, Truk's undead, Davo's necromantic. We've got them on red and blue because zombies are really difficult to tell apart, um, even though Davo's got these hats here. Davo's won the toss for the second time, so you know, pretty critical in these bash matchups, so he's got a bit of luck there again, and I can tell you... Devo is British qualified via the NAF BB3 Summer Qualifier. And Truck is from Chile, qualified through the Rebel Qualifier. So, there you go. I didn't put the score in the whole match, you are correct. Well, the fact that this, this went actually okay, I'm not going to restart the intro. But what I will do is put the score on. I didn't put the score on because it's nil-nil, <laughs> to be fair. But yes... The first game was a draw, and uh, now, <laughs> now Truk is protecting his mummies from getting instantly clawed on turn one, so that's an improvement, isn't it? Yeah, I'm actually a bit nervous about this game, because it could, it could actually seriously affect my journey at the final, yeah. Yeah, if Davo, if Davo slips up here, I think my equity versus Truk is higher than versus Davo. Um... I don't mean this unfairly on Truk, right? He, I, I could say he's the top 32 coaches in this tournament, but I could say that Dave was like top three or whatever. So um, I think he's very good, and I think his team is better than the undead. So I think Dave has got all of the advantages here, and he's won the toss. But um, you never know. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. The aggressive ghoul placement here is interesting. Like they could have been... White could have been there and he could have had the white... Like two whites and the skeleton could have been exposed. The fact that he's got the ghouls here, if Davo gets a bit too aggro on the LOS, he could go for some ball pressure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my exactly. god, another timeout, just the same as the first game. Yeah, like, this is the thing. It's, it's weird. I guess it's because, you know, we're just ordinary people. Instant Kaz again for Davo. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic Devo, instant cars. You did it in the you did it in the first game, right? Received instant cars. Um, I mean, obviously you've got to receive in this matchup. Truck would have also received had he got the chance. Devo in one turn equal equaling my four games <laughs> of cast. <laughs> Just quietly. Oh, makes the pickup. A pickup fail there would have been terrible. It's a very deep kick. Normally Devo just mashes everything forward and doesn't really think too much about ball protection. I wonder with this being so deep if he will. And he just ends the turn. No blitz at all. So keeping them all in a big line. Very interesting. Oh, do you know what? This means that the mummies can't blitz. <laughs> Which is quite nice, isn't it? This just stops the mummies from blitzing. Truck can't really get around the sides very easily at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so can't, he'd have to dodge. And then he gets sidelined, so he'd have to double dodge. He'd have to, like, double dodge to here, and, like, probably dodge to there as well. And it's just not that good, is it? So... The weather has saved Davo a bit because this really makes it not worth him doing pretty much anything this turn. 
It was indeed a first block Kaz again, yes. Uh, Deva won the toss and made an instant Kaz. Yep. Which is a good decision, definitely. Definitely a good decision. Nobody can nobody can accuse Dave of playing that wrong. <laughs> Good morning, DK Max. Yeah, yeah, I mean. He kind of needs to, doesn't he? Like, it's wild that he made so many removals and had such an easy second half and yet was a three-plus away from getting two deed. That's pretty wild. I hate this from him. <laughs> I'll be honest. Yes, he gets a hit, but he gets this guy sidelined now, right? He gets a stun. But I really don't want him. Girl's stuck on the sideline. You can uh you can use the Wraith, right? And then push him out, push him there. And then they, he's got a side stepper, block stepper on him. So just gotta stay as central as possible. Oh yeah, I try and dodge us there, just leave him down. You can leave elves down, you can leave zombies down. Move the ball up instantly. Instantly. Is interesting, isn't it? A long way away from these zombies as well. They can't cover the other side, but yeah, straight away this Wraith's it. <laughs> he can barely contain himself, Devo. <laughs> the excitement of pushing this, uh, pushing this ghoul. Surely this should have been one, one over, right? I think this one, one over, so he's making the screen with the uh, Wraith. One over with him, and then also pull this guy back there, right? Is what I would have done. Just so you're completely safe for the ball. I mean, maybe I'd be playing too safe, but I'd feel very confident here if I was Davo, to be honest. So I'd be really trying to minimise risk. Ah, okay, well, have that screen there with that shores up. Yeah. things a bit. But yeah, I mean, he's still isolated, isn't he? Now, you know, now the ghoul's still, you know, just got to dodge away on threes. It's really just got to hold the centre, right? And then, otherwise, you know, going near the sidelines is a disaster, but with sidesteppers and stand firmers and frenziers. Oh, he didn't hit the f flipping fleshy. <laughs> Did he not learn anything from the previous game where he cast the fleshy? <laughs> Could have stood up the zombie, right, and just blitzed the fleshy. Didn't make a removal anyway, but... Bit weird. Bit weird not smashing the fleshy. You ask me. It's so it's really tough playing Dave or with Necro. Like, he is very good at Necro. And this is this is a tough game for trophies. I mean, it's hard to even to try to get lucky, right? Like that's the, that's another problem. Like, how do you even try to get lucky? It's, oh God, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that is the answer. Um, I 
No, dear. Another ghoul that can be sent to the sideline. You know, it's more one in nine dodges it's got to make that can fail and remove a ghoul. I don't like, he's only got three ghouls. So I really hate being like this aggressive with them, right? He's setting them up to get hit, surfed, all the rest of it. If he had four ghouls, it's a lot better. But um, it's just, you know, it's, it's I, I, I honestly hate only having three ghouls. I think it's like 13 players is enough. You just don't need a 14th, right? You kind of don't even need 13. If, if, if in competitions where inducements are allowed, people generally take 12 plus a babe, right? Because then the babe can get, or not a babe anymore, sorry, uh, kegs. Bloodwiser kegs, they are now. Because a keg can get back a mummy or a white or a ghoul that's KO'd. So that's just better. You don't even need the 13th player. And I know he's got the dirty player, so his plan is to foul and stuff. But 13 players is enough for that. So I think it's. It's definitely wrong. I, I mean, I would go so far as to say it's wrong, in my opinion, that uh, to only take three ghouls. Oh, it's after, oh my God, it, it's really hard having all the things on because there's just so many circles, isn't there? It's I guess we could just have the... the uh, the undead circles on because Davo's ghoul is obvious because he's got the ball, and then the wolves are you know more distinct. This is like a bit pinkish, isn't it? This this skin is a bit pinkish for this ghoul. That's a better colour skin than this ghoul. It's very much the same as the zombies. That's a little bit a little bit pinker skin. Fair amount of thinking from Dave or here. Oh, he's gonna uh, claw the mummy. Yeah, I, I this this ghoul had to stay there protecting him, right? Or the or the zombie did uh, the skeletons. He had to protect you've gotta protect your mummies in this match. If you get your mummies clawed. I think I think also pressing that guy to the there we go there we go okay he made the regen um I, it, putting this guy on the sideline would have still been really good this is like the kind of greedier way of doing it right Davo's a bit greedier going for the mummy removal but it's higher payoff isn't it. Um, he seems to be forgetting to protect the ball, <laughs> which this fleshy could have come here and the ball could have gone there and the wraith could have gone here, right? And it's a very secure ball. Whereas now I guess the ball's got to go in here or here. So at the moment, the ball is getting one deed. I'd say it's getting one deed. It's bloody... Ri it's, it's a blizzard, isn't it? So you'd have to dodge the wrestle all the way around. And... You'd have to knock this guy over... Knock this guy over, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, rush to get him. So it's actually still. This is actually pretty secure. Doesn't look it, does it? It's like two, three pluses to tag, and then a 1D, which is just a six plus. It's not even worth going for the ball. So good. Good uh, good position from Devo in the end. But I mean, he's won this drive now, right? With the, with the mummy out. And the worst thing for Truck is now that one mummy's out, now. Dave or instantly switches 
how many hits can I make, who can I remove, and it's just going to get worse and worse, right? Like this is this is the thing. Once once your initial like dam is is broken, it opens up the floodgates to the walls. It's just going to be teeing off, and it's just going to be real, real bad. Like the mentality switch from Davo. So what's going to happen now? Truk has to like stay strong, right? He has to look for little slivers of equity, getting the ball and stuff. He's got to be completely ball focused, which means the bashing gets even worse. <laughs> because he has to remain like you know aware of any tiny chance he can get to to get a, a sniff of the hit on the ball because Davo's definitely gonna you know maybe be a little bit lax on ball protection to get more hits and stuff as he should because you know he's got the advantage now big advantage if you can kill a mummy oh my god well. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. huge regen there. Oh my goodness. Two huge regens. Wow. 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 I mean, if killing the wolf was definitely the best play, yeah. He could have. I think he was going to foul it, because otherwise you would have just assisted with a scanning, wouldn't you? That would have been huge. Either of those would have been huge, wouldn't it? Either of those failed regens would have been massive for the match. I think worse for Truk, right? I think if Truk had failed his uh, regen, he loses. I think if Davo fails his, his regen, he's in a bad spot. That's because it's Davo's drive and he's already basically got it done, right? Yeah, he's just got to go for those crumbs. The crumbs of equity. Yeah, that's the thing. But I mean, the thing is, the thing is, if this was Diomed, he wouldn't have had the wolf there, right? Like, Diomed's wolf would have been protected is the thing. Like, so, so Diomed and Bright were both very careful protecting their wolves in their games. And, you know, they still did get them hit occasionally. But Devo can be a bit more adventurous with them. Um because he knows he's got a spare, so it lets him play better, right? It's like having two rerolls versus three, right? With three rerolls, you can just play better because you can try things constantly knowing you've got the backup. So it's not just that the third reroll lets you do like one more play. It makes you like make 10 more plays that could all fail because you've got a reroll in the pocket for all of them. So it's, it's kind of the same, I think, with this wolf, you know, by having two wolves, it just lets you go for so much more. Like he can, he can kind of try to snowball so much harder than Diomed and Bright can. So, I mean, I, I do prefer the Devo build, but it's it's not just 100% better, but um, I definitely prefer it. Especially in these kind of situations, which is how you win more as well, right? Like, at the end of the day, the best way to beat people is by completely smashing them to pieces. So, <laughs> he, he completely smashes to people to pieces more than Diomed and Bright will with only one wolf. Gets a bit of an advantage and then uh, pushes it to the max. Which you can't really do if you're obsessed by protecting your one wolf that you have to protect at all costs. Yeah, yeah, but it's the same kind of thing, yeah, same kind of thing. It's the same kind of thing as more rerolls. And uh, I definitely usually favour more rerolls and I would favour more wolves. But that's not to say that it's wrong. It's just not what I would do. <laughs> Having said that, I've gone fewer rerolls for this in this format, haven't I? So, what do I know? I'm not happy about it though. This is a, still in a bit of a pickle here, Davo. Blockless block. To free this zombie. So now he knows what he's got. Is he just going to punch with the uh, ghoul? No, another blockless block. It's a full pal. Is he going to make a triangle cage? Y cage? An upside down Y cage? <laughs> no, no, he's just running away. Oh. Sp 
spicy. No, it's not really spicy, is it? Well, it's kind of spicy. This is a 4-3 out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rush. And 4-3 out for him as well. I mean, this is two dice on the ball. With a bunch of dice. Is it great? No. Is it the best you're going to get? Yes. <laughs> In a driveway, you've lost a mummy. Is this absolutely the best ball chance you're going to get? Yes. Oh, God, there's this guy as well. This guy can just rush to base. That's way better than doing an extra 4-3. This guy's free. Wait a minute. Can this guy... What about this guy? No, this guy can't. This guy can just rush to base. And then he can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, rush 2D with wrestle. And then he can even 4-3 and get through and get a, get the ball in a blodger. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And then this, this guy can just come back and like screen a bit, right? Three, four, five, six. The other one can dodge at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rush, rush. He can have a completely screen ball here. <laughs> I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but it's absolutely possible to have a completely, a completely screened ball. He doesn't even need the other one, actually, right? This guy, to there, makes a screen. No, no, he had to be here. He had to be here. Okay, well, he's going for it. He's definitely going for it. No, oh, I hate the stand-up. Hate the stand-up. It's just getting him powered and again he doesn't have the recovery, just like last game. Gets the 2D, gets the wrestle. Oh, imagine if you had this guy right now, truck. <laughs> right, like that's such a bad stand-up. Oh my god! He could have gone one, two, three, four, rush, and had the ball screened, right? Like, oh man. And this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, rush. Rush, right? Something like that. He could have had, like, he could have just. He had to have not just stood this guy up. You really had to have not stood this guy up. Like, you've got to give. You've got to give yourself the chance to get lucky, haven't you? Yeah, it was the perfect square. Jim wrong, yeah, yeah. You've got to give you like you know. I mean, they did completely the completely the right plan. Um, I would have had this guy to screen the pickup, and then I would have gone for the pickup with this guy afterwards. So actually, in this square, if you're gonna stand this guy up, this square is better, right? Because then you keep him in front of you if you fail. But unfortunately, by standing up, he's just got instantly powered <laughs> and KO'd. Um, yeah, uh, no, I think I think the the dodging was you know keep him active. Yes, this square, but I mean you're getting the ball down right. I think this is the thing right. There's no point in planning for the actions that don't win you the game, right? This is the thing. This is the thing. There's no point that you know like yes you've got failure states. You've got to think about failure states, but failure states. If you can still win is what matters right so I think you have to get the ball down there and you have to have a guy go, go and pick it up and you have to have the guy screened so that's what I'm gonna try and do as it is he's getting four diced on him with block I mean maybe it'll work maybe it will work and maybe Against all odds, he'll get the stop here, but it's like, it's just hard, right? It's so much harder than if he'd planned for it to work. And yes, planning for things to work is, you know, some would say is wrong, but sometimes you have to. If, if that's how you win, then that's what you try to do. Here we go. Didn't re-roll the first hit. If you remember, there was a game where he... Did re-roll the first hit and then got a both down and didn't get the didn't get follow-up blocks, but this time he uh, doesn't make any such thing. I 
How, much, how many squares left? He's got three. Doesn't go for the pickup. Interesting. Let's get here, right? That's a perfect square for him. So now this is a good effort by Truck, but it looks ultimately unfruitful, doesn't it? And yes, Dave was lucky to full power the uh, ghoul and remove him, obviously. It was, it was obviously very lucky from Dave And to KO this guy with a foul as well. And to stun this guy. So Dave got a really lucky turn. Um, but just think how much a blodger here complicates the thing, right? Like a blodger here makes makes everything so much harder for Dave and yeah, so this is a look. Look, he didn't fail. By standing that bludger up, he didn't fail, but this is what happened. He also didn't succeed. Um, and it seems harsh to criticize him for that when Devo had such good dice, right? He did get the stun, he did get the two KOs. It was very lucky, full power the bludger. So it was a really lucky, really, really lucky from turn from Devo. But. It does stem from him not being brave enough to do the dodge. And I understand it. I understand it. My my game, I was nervous as hell. And, you know, I was like... I ended up having to make like four twos or five... Four or five twos on the last turn to score. Uh, versus Go Go Bear, the game one. Um, because I was you know, trying to play so tight for the, for the previous turns. That I ended up having to roll a bunch of dice on the last turn. So, like, I completely understand not wanting to chuck the dice. But, like, I just think he had to chuck it. Yeah, yeah, too. So I, I, the problem is, though, this is the thing with Dave, right? Like, there's a lot. There's, he gets a lot out of playing a little bit looser and getting more hits in, right? So, playing a little bit looser, little bit looser gets more hits, and even this has ended up with two KOs for Truck, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, you might as well re-roll here. Your chance of a one turn is so low as you might as well say non-existent. Only a stun. Thanks to Thick Skull. It doesn't say Thick Skull, but it is, right? Because he's got Thick Skull, he doesn't use the Mighty Blow because it wouldn't do anything. But it was Thick Skull that saved him there. Oh, he just dodged and picked it. He just dodged and picked it up. And the ball's in the crowd. If he gets a crazy throw in. He didn't really. No, it, I don't know what it was. I don't know what the crazy throw in was in this way, right? If the throw in had gone in this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> and then bounce there, right? The mummy could have had the ball. The mummy could have had the ball from that. Um, hello, Olivia. Thank you very much. Mega, mega stressful. <laughs> As you probably, you know, shared. Uh, being in the, a similar spot. Well, a worse spot, actually, right? The, having to win the second one. Oh. Mega stressful. Being a loss away from elimination is... <laughs> Dice being rolled. Mega stressful, but... Uh, I'm happy that I didn't make any mistakes. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. I just really don't want to make mistakes this tournament. And maybe that did versus Tumish, actually. But he didn't... He didn't push it... Obviously, no one's going to play completely optimal for the whole game. So lots of lots of unoptimized blood bowl, but uh, I just really want to get not horrendous misplays. <laughs> if I can just not make horrendous misplays, I'll be happy. And it's a dice game, isn't it? At the end of the day, like you know, some games there's not a lot you can do. Like I'm sure K Fog isn't going to look back on his game and think how much he could have done. Oh! Nope. 
and there's nothing that can possibly reach from Truk's side, so all he can do is punch something with mighty blow. And at least he's not going to get clawed. He's got that going for him. All in all, not a terrible half for Truk. Um, he's technically been outbashed, but he started with more players, so it doesn't matter. And he'll get the LOS hit, double LOS hits to come, and perhaps a foul. So, completely in this for the draw, but obviously the win is off the table now. But Truk will be trying to make this go to game three. And honestly, in overtime, he's got he's got fourteen players to Davos twelve. He's got the advantage if it goes to overtime. If his if his mummies stay on the field, he's going to be ahead more often than not after two halves. If his mummies stay on the pitch, but it's a big if because Davos going to claw them every chance he gets. <laughs> Yeah, don't re-roll this, I don't think, because you might get a timeout, right? You might get a timeout. Um, I don't think you're going to one turn. I don't think I'd even try to one turn. I don't like trying to foul this guy either. Just, just punch. Like he could, he could try like a five plus four plus three plus to to foul the fleshy. But that seems terrible. With Thick skull and two chances to get it back and regen. This is game two, yep. Hello Spartacus, this is game two. The first game was a draw. Oh, he really is going for this foul, is he? <laughs> if he was going, he was a four plus dodge, but it looked like he was going for the foul. I think that's uh No, that was not the... He also went the wrong way. I don't know what it, where he was going. Or what he was doing there. Um, but he shouldn't have. <laughs> uh, no overtime for this game, no, no. But I'm, what I'm saying is for the like the last game, for the for the third game, like basically what I'm saying is um, Truck's game plan is going to change between first, second or third game, right? It's going to be try to get your drive done, try to draw 1-1. One, one. And then in the third game, when it goes to overtime, hope that you've got more players than him. <laughs> I'm thinking about the third game. Because now, if, if you're Truk, you win by playing the third game, right? You, you, can't, you can't beat Dave or now. You're 1-0 down. There's no way you're going to score two touchdowns in the, in the second half. You're not going to try, because if you do, you'll lose. <laughs> That's Blood Bowl. Um, so what you have to do is get your drive done now, draw 1-1, one, one, and then in the third game, play exactly the same way, you know, and and if you win this, it's going to be in overtime in game three right now, I think, or just a big dicing, right? A big old dicing, win the toss, make four cars in the first half, you know, like like we've seen happen, right? Uh, Rock Rock's game versus Jacek, he had like about four orcs left. Um... Nobolo versus Dragu, you know, like made seven cars, you know. If he has a complete insanity game like that, then he just wins, doesn't he, for sure? Yeah, if you, if you cast both wolves and the ghoul, then you can try. <laughs> then you can try. Um, you don't need to cast the, the, the wraiths or the fleshies, you just need to cast both ghouls and the. But both wolves and the ghoul, then he just literally can't score. <laughs> then you can go for the win. But um, now he's just going for three dice with mighty blows and not fouling, probably, because he's got 12 players. Depends if he cares. If he cares on the first one or two, then maybe you can foul. You can foul with a rookie, right? Because you've got reserve. So you foul with a rookie, whatever happens, actually. Yeah, whatever happens, you foul with a rookie. Not with your dirty player. Keep your dirty player for a good player. It absolutely can happen. I mean, we've seen we've seen Skaven do it, and we've seen uh, Orcs do it. Orcs without Mighty Blow completely slaughtered another Orc team. Slaughtered them. Like, literally, Rock was just running around with about four players at the end of the game. It was crazy. Or will the line slaughtered me. I had about, like, five or six players left at the end of the match. Um, so, you know, 
and Necro are only AV9 plus on most of the players. They're a little bit brittle. Yes, they've got regen, but you know, on the drive, it's very easy to remove a bunch. I don't know what you mean, Sansaika. Oh, I don't like going for the one turn here. I just three dice of my blow. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you mean by we. I mean, skeletons are shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think Troop needs to rethink Skellies. <laughs> and Rick needs to think rethink Skellies. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think I do. <laughs> but of course, I would think that, right? And obviously Troop thinks that, and obviously Rick thinks that. So, you know, now you, you could always keep an open mind to, um, you know, you, could, you should always keep an open mind, right? Like Spartacus's three block lizards, I thought was trash. And uh, he did great with them. So, you know. He hasn't even set up right to do the one turn. He's got the goon on square. So he should definitely just smash with the mummy now. <laughs> Don't! Ghoul had to be here. So he could blitz there, push him into there, and then push the ghoul forward. It's a really hard one to him. No, this is not good. Not good. He can't score the one turn and he's used a reroll and he's taken away the mummy power probably. No, no. No, 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 no. There's all. It's also snowing, <laughs> and a full back line. This was absolutely not worth trying to get the one turn. I mean, especially knowing that he's going to fail. <laughs> but you know, even K Fog, I would say, just just take your three dice, mighty blow hits. Hell, even even uh, would uh, dark elves. I might not have tried too hard. No, I would have. I would have tried with dark elves because I could have gone double ways. I could have tried the witch, the witch hole, and then if that failed, then do the blitz and uh, the other way and stuff. So it would have given us two chances. So I would I would have tried it with eleven man um, dark elves, but it's absolutely not worth it. With it's not even worth trying. Just do you, to make your three days, mate. <laughs> Spoiler on a live game. Wait, what's a spoiler on a live game? It's gonna fail, yeah, 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 yeah. What's he called? Uh, what's he called? Paul Heyman, isn't it? This isn't a prediction; it's a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's. I mean, it is failed. He just literally can't do it. He just physically can't do it. So it, it's already failed. He just doesn't know yet, and he's he's wasting his time bank. He's wasting time bank on something that cannot cons cannot succeed. He's wasted a mighty blow knockdown. He physically cannot do this. <laughs> this should have been the ghoul. <laughs> then he could have done it, but he messed it up and he's still continuing with it. He's killing himself. Look how much time bank he's using over something that cannot succeed. Oh my god, Truk. <laughs> ah! It could have worked. The worst part is it could have worked if this had been the goo. But it, it's not worked, so just cut your losses and stop using all of your time bank on something that cannot work.
Please. Please, truck. Please. <laughs> Please. There you go. Good. The dice. The dice saved him. I mean, he should have dodged with a with a white that was a three plus. But yeah, that was that was awful. That was awful. He denied himself mighty blow hits and burned loads of time bank. So. Yep. Bit of a disaster from uh, from truck there. No offence, it just was, right? Because he, I, to I explained why. He, he had the ghoul and the zombie the wrong places, and it just made it impossible. Um, and he should have recognised it was impossible and not tried. But also it was low odds anyway, even if it wasn't impossible, even if he'd done it right, it was still low odds. It was low odds enough to, that I think, the three dice with mighty blows and fouls and w were better anyway for better odds. So, um, I think, I do think that it was kind of tactically incorrect to even attempt it properly, but, you know, that was just definitely wrong. That's not mean, is it? That's not mean. <laughs> Hello, our Yeti. I'll be honest, our Yeti, <laughs> I am cheering for Truk only because I'm playing him in the next round. <laughs> only because I'm playing the winner. <laughs> no offense, Truk. It's not offense, right? If if you know if if your football team can play versus France or Portugal, you'd rather they were playing Portugal. It's okay. It's okay. It's not. I'm not saying he's terrible. What I'm saying is, Devo is one of the absolute best in the competition. And I think his team build is, is better as well, especially versus versus elves. They all stand firm, the sidestep and stuff, so, yeah. Well, this is the question, Sandslicer. That's what Olivia did, funnily enough. Olivia went with two sidesteppers and the stand firm, so he really shuts down the one turn, like, fantastically well. And he's got a frenzy and two sidesteppers, so he gets a pretty good one turn as well. So he kind of built into the one turn. Uh, Serafino also built into the one turn quite heavily. If I was to go Underworld, I'd 100% build into the one turn. And I think the main benefit that Wood Elves have over Dark Elves is having you know a decent one turn chance, whereas that's the killer for Dark Elves is they don't have a good one turn. True, true, but they're still the best of the best, isn't there? Like, Devo's the best of the best. Uh, during Beyonce, yeah, exactly. So it's not it's not insulting him. It's not insulting him to say that Davos favoured. It's not. It's it's just my first of all. It's just my opinion, and yeah, I'm not calling him rubbish. I'm just saying, I think Davo is top three, whereas Truck's top thirty two, or even top sixteen. He won his group, didn't he? Won his group. You know, he drew versus me. Um, you know, top my group. This would have been my first round game if I'd won my group, which would have been... Like, I, I just think it's unlucky. I just think he's really unlucky. I think he's got the worst, you know, possibly the worst draw he could have, he could have got in the, in, the, uh, in the knockout stage. In fact, he was in my group, so he couldn't get me. So it was literally Dave or Diomed are the two worst for him, I think. And, maybe, and K-Fog, K-Fog. So this is like, he got one of the top three, I would say. Um, and that solid defence is pretty scary. Sorry, Olivier. <laughs> no offence. But you, you were you you won your group, right? You won your group. He couldn't get you. He couldn't get you. He couldn't get you because he won his group. That's what I mean, right? That's what I mean. He won his group and he still got Devo. <laughs> so he couldn't have got KFOG actually. I don't know why I said that. Um, so yeah, literally the three worst ones you can get as a group winner is Devo, Diomed and me, right? We were the three we were the three danger men for the group winners. And he couldn't get me because he'd already been in my group. So the, the, the two he could get, Devo and Diomed. 
And then I just thought, oh, Cave Fog's really good. <laughs> and just had to mention it, which was stupid. I was right the first time. I shouldn't have mentioned Cave Fog. Or Olivier, or Strider, or Bright, or anybody else. Lots of good players. Lots of very good players. But... I would definitely put myself as one of the best players who finished second. I don't think that's arrogant. Maybe people will. Thanks, our Yeti. This is a, this was a horrible, solid defence, wasn't it? I think he probably should have put the mummy in here, and that would have given him the two D here. And if it's and then something else, the the the, the guard in there, so that and then like blitz something. It's really hard. This guy didn't come back, so he's only got two ghouls. And he skulls out. Yep, the so oh my god, and he's dead. Well, it's Jim versus Dave all round two. <laughs> Don't say it's over. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, I got a Kaz, yeah, Pogler, yeah. I actually got a Kaz. Oh, well, that's it. I mean, it's not a dicing, but the solid defense... It, it, it didn't do himself any favours, right? Should have slammed in the guard here to dice this guy. Then it's not a Skull, then it's not a Kaz, right? Then he's got... You know, then he can put the guard in there, then he can 2D him, and then he can, like, do something. And, like, he could have just fought this. I think he had to fight this. Or, like, dodge away when I mean, he still died, right? He was still unlucky. Still very unlucky, but... <laughs> people should have, you know, you know... <laughs> it's the, you know, the things that people have, like, in case of, like, uh, things happening. Is that, what, is that what a Google News Alert is? You know, like, you know, like, the government things. You know, the government things in case of, like... Nuclear war and stuff, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what people should have got. Jimmy made a cast. <laughs> Close the mummy, of course. Dave always like always like banging orientated, right? Which is good. It's good because you know. Some people might think, oh yeah, you know, like blitz this ghoul and then and then pressure the ball. But you don't need to. If if you smash everything that's here, if this is completely collapsed, then what the hell can you do with these four, right? So you don't you don't need to, to run forward. You just need to completely annihilate him here, and then he's got nothing left. So there was a time when I thought Dave was incorrect, whereas now I think he is definitely correct. <laughs> yeah and this is the same with the dice isn't it you know like the dice makes it oh god okay um, the dice makes it fun doesn't it as, as frustrating as it is sometimes it's also you know what makes it fun and less boring than chess and stuff so chess very dry isn't it I've never been interested in playing chess as much as I think I would have been good He's just got to get the... I mean, when I say it's over, right, I don't mean necessarily Devo's going to win 2-0, but it, like, if Truk scores, it's going to have to be early, right? He's got to rush here to get this hit. He's probably got to re-roll it. Fails it. It's just horrible for him. Double one. At least it didn't make any difference. Yeah. 
Yes, that that's the thing, isn't it? It's just the constant stream of, of kids is what Games Workshop are aiming at, isn't it? Kids with, with parents with plenty of money. <laughs> and, uh, and they're doing better than ever as well, aren't they, Games Workshop? You'd think with, like, mobile phones taking over entertainment um, that it wouldn't be so good for them, but... Still is. This is very easy for Dave on now, isn't it? He can't really go wrong because. Trick's only going to score early. Like, it doesn't matter, you know, how safe Devo plays, whether he prioritises pressure or cover. It doesn't really matter. Because if Trick scores, it, it's, it's down so much like material that um, if he scores, it's got to be early. And if he doesn't score, obviously, then he just, it's fine, right? So looks pretty inevitable for Devo right now but you never know you never know he might have not just knocked that guy out <laughs> um, that he already has but you know <laughs> that thing that's already happened might not happen <laughs> it's not over And it really isn't over. It really isn't over. But it sure looks it, doesn't it? Both mummies down. And this is the thing, right? This is why there's no need to push forward and push for the ball or anything earlier. Because, you know, everything in front of him is destroyed. What's he got? A handoff to this guy, <laughs> double rush, and then get hunted down by wolves anyway. And this ghoul punches him and he blitzes through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. He runs up with him like it's just awful, isn't it? It's just awful. Punch things here and run back to there. And it's just lost. It's just lost. He's down four players. Well, he's not actually, right? It's two are already out. He's down three players. No, he's down two. He had loads of players. I forgot he's got 14 players. Sorry. He's got 14 players. Should have an extra ghoul, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Put, uh, that's, like, that's the thing, isn't it? Uh, when I started, I was 10. <laughs> Playing Blood Bowl 2nd Edition with a polystyrene pitch and... It was just a bit of fun, wasn't it? And then 1994, when this came out, I was a, a competitive little scrot, and I enjoyed winning winning games then, but not like super competitive, right? And then later on, like about 2000, then it became about the beers. And like, you know, I went to some tabletop tournaments where I just got smashed instantly. <laughs> just got drunk out of my mind when I went to tabletop tournaments. Um, that's why I haven't got such a good win rate. <laughs> and then I uh, found Fumble and it went, you know, I was kind of competitive on Fumble and then obviously with the streaming I thought, oh this is good, I can, you know, teach people how to play Blood Bowl well and stuff and I can get good, I can actually try harder at it because I've never really try harder at it before. 
And I thought I can really try hard and become the best, like, you know, actually become good at Blood Bowl. Because no one's really tried to be good at Blood Bowl, have they, in the way that people try to be good at chess. And what I mean is put in, like, hours and hours and hours and hours and actually try to be the very best you can possibly be, rather than just taking it seriously. You know, people take it seriously, sure, and they want to win. But it's not the same as, like, you know, dedicating your life to it the way, like, uh, Magnus Carlsen has, etc. So I thought, I can be the person who does that. And then, obviously, it just descended into <laughs> stupid memes and stuff. <laughs> uh, I actually made it worse for him. Now he can free the wolf. That was actually a worse blitz. So there you go. <laughs> if Carson turned up his own painted chess, if you left that at all, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Yeah, hi Mandina. Yeah, there's all the different there's all the different ways to play. Like it's it's a pretty great game. Like the the, the, the crux of it is the uh the turnover mechanic, isn't it? That's what makes like every dice roll exciting and interesting and stuff. Um That's the like genius in the mechanics. And then obviously all the fluff and the look of it and the IP is all great. Um, well, I mean, second edition was, uh, there was no need to cage because it was just set up your men in a big wall and kill everything. Oh, it has to reroll, yeah. He's, he's, yeah. He hasn't done anything. He didn't do any safe moves or anything, did he? <laughs> he just mindlessly blocked. He just mindlessly blocked first action, so he has to reroll. Now, had he made all of his safe moves first, maybe he didn't have to, but um, but because he mindlessly blocked first action, he had to re-roll it. Not that it's wrong to mindlessly block first action, but, you know, he just did automatically, did it. So he was okay with putting the re-roll Still hasn't moved that ghoul, right? I could have thought about where that ghoul's going. And maybe he has, right? Maybe he has, but he, he did it pretty quickly with the, the initial block. And, like, it's it's obvious, like, right? Like, that mummy is stopping things moving, right? It's stopping, like, two or three players moving. So you want to hit it straight away. You know you're going to hit it, so just hit it straight away. But, they, you know, he could have moved the ghoul and he could have moved something else as well. I think I think he had, like, two free players he could have moved first. But even then, I still think I still think it was right to re-roll. Yeah, I wouldn't have considered that re -rolling. Yeah, offer something for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads. Of, it's. I think it's a great game. Yeah, great game. Um, so yeah. So in second edition, there was no need to cage at all because it was just line everyone up in a big line and just have a fight and worry about the touchdowns when your opponent has more players left. In third edition, which I think you were more referring to, is when the cage happened, and I think that's something that pretty much everybody could work out. It was a way to protect a player. It was probably in a white dwarf, yeah, I'd imagine so. But like, it, it's the X cage. It's just kind of the natural thing where you think, well, I want to stop people getting in, isn't it? And it does seem quite intuitive to make an X cage to stop people hitting your ball. Yeah, I think it's pretty intuitive to think, right, how do I stop people hitting my ball? Well, I'll make an X cage. But it probably did have a white dwarf article or something, I don't know. I remember the, the funeral march in in a, that was in a white dwarf where it had like, it was undead tactics and it was like the ball carry here with like four players here and four players here. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. No, yeah, absolutely not. I mean, I can't remember anything about it. I can't remember anything about those days, but um, I remember some things. I remember like my team's names and stuff, right? Like, I had a I had a human team with three with three Count Luther von Drakenborgs. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, and called it Destiny's Children, and then had them all uh, had them all be like Lamian vampires. <laughs> I remember that I did that, um, but you know, I remember an orc team that was very very unpolitically correct that I can't even talk about. And so, like, I remember the thing. I remember those things rather than rather than the actual tactics or anything, and you know. Oh god. Tabbing out has done this. Whoa. This isn't second it's got a first edition and second edition. This is third edition. This is third edition when it's got edition two, that's actually third edition. Things that go bump, yeah, that was the that was the ludicrous uh, formation. The block and tackle thing. He talked about the human team, and he was like, "Oh, you've got to start with like fourteen players and stuff, and and all this, and like you don't want stars." And it's like, "Yes, you did. You could roster Griff Oberwall for hundred and eighty k. You could roster Zug for hundred and twenty k. You could roster the Count for hundred and eighty, Morg for hundred and ninety. Like, you had to have star players." They were insanely ridiculous. Yeah, they had like the Citadel Journal or whatever, didn't they? And they had like loads of Blood Bowl stuff in that, I remember. That was variously stupid and overpowered and rubbish. So the games feels a little bit over as a contest, obviously. Um, tricks down loads of players. Davos just got to, you know, wants to keep one wolf at least free in the backfield. And, uh, this is pretty terrible. Pretty terrible for Trick. Hello, Galencho. Yeah, it would, be, it would be fun, wouldn't it? It would be fun to play that kind of way again. Yeah, like it was insane. <laughs> like it, it was 80k for a rookie Black Orc, and for 120, you got Block Mighty Blow and Plus Strength. For 40k, you got Block Mighty Blow and Plus Strength. Like, what the hell? <laughs> and like, I mean, Griff, you know, Griff was actually better than he is now. He was movement 8 and he had uh, Leap instead of Fend. He was at, like, Griff was better when he was 180k. It was insane. And, uh, definitely stronger than Bomber. And, uh, what's it called? There was, um... The most insane was Borak, right? Because a Chaos Warrior was 100, and a reroll was 70. And Borak was 160, and he, he had leader. <laughs> so, so, he got... He was 10k cheaper, and had block, mighty blow, dirty player, plus strength. <laughs> for, for cheaper. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. Well, he didn't get him down, and he's he's committed a wolf. So bizarrely, Davo has somehow managed to give Truk something here. Not a lot. Not a lot. But something, right? There's something that Truk can do here. Um... I think it's pretty obvious what it is, you know, but in the interests of no spoilers, um, I'll try not to give precise advice to Truck here, but there's certainly an obvious way to go and an obvious way to try and do it, so. Whew. So there we go. And now he's got a free white, a free zombie, a single dodge, a double dodge here to get another player out. Like, this is kind of fine. I mean, it's not fine. <laughs> it's not fine, but you know what I mean. It's like, there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. 
If Truck can get away and get a touchdown here, he's laughing. Because, you know, there's no way he should have. Again, so here I think I would have probably just blissed with the uh, zombie, right? And just hope to get a pal. Maybe this is better, actually, because then he goes, what, here? Oh, no. Um, yeah, maybe okay, actually, yeah. No. No, it's maybe okay. Yeah, maybe that's okay. Maybe that's better than better than me. Yeah, got to tag him. And he's got a screen there as well. That's, maybe that's better than what I thought, yeah. Oh, here we go. One in nine, one in three now. Makes the dodge. He is in double rush range. Oh my goodness. Um, so the problem with making the rush was if it fails, obviously you're just completely dead. But if it passes, then it's good because now you can be pushed back when you're still in range. Um, it's kind of tempting to go for another, but he can't go near the sideline because of the wolves. Because, you know, Devo could still get in with this wolf. So he doesn't really want to go near the sideline. Oh my goodness, which makes the going forward one less good when you're not also getting further away, right? Like, because this guy can still base you. If you could go there and not get based, it would be better. Um, and he's got this this ghoul, can try a 4-3. Oh, he's gone around that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'd have like, got him to here. I'd have gone this way and got him to here. But good turn by truck. Good turn by truck. It is a potato. But honestly, that was a pretty good turn, and maybe it's unkind to Devo to say he left it on, but like, he was in such a dominant position, this does feel like he's let him get away a little bit, right? But yeah, I do think going the other way, I don't, I hate going this way actually, he could have just gone this way. I guess, you know, tunnel vision, he just didn't see it, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven has to be better, right? Or seven to there, or, or in here, or... Or just anywhere, like he only gave himself one square he could go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He only gave himself one square he could possibly go to. Now, if that was the best square to go to, then it didn't matter which way he went. But um, I think he probably could have gone, yeah, like could have got in the way, right? Could have been there. And then that would have stopped this Wraith coming through for the assist to get the 2D on the uh, mummy. So, yeah, maybe like here would have been better. Or here's you've got another clearance going range. So one of those two squares I think would be better. Yeah, maybe here. The wolf, um, one, two, three, four, five, would have to rush right now. Or dodge. So I guess he'd just dodge, wouldn't he? No, because it's a four plus dodge, so one, two, three four five rush to hit and in fact it's a rush to assist as well so this could definitely fail if it was anyone but Davo <laughs> there we go instant rush double rush and knockdown no rerolls required oh but the ball is loose one two three four rush rush can't be in range look and if this guy was through here Right, where he could have been, he could have maybe got something. I picked it up, handed off to him, so... I think this guy had to be either out here or in there. And not there. Okay, so... Truk needs to have a big deep breath. He's only got 30 seconds of time bank. He has to be quick. He has to, you know, do his safe moves. He needs to get this guy in, and he probably just needs to, uh, what, like 1D the wolf and then dodge away, I guess. But he has to not run out of time. <laughs> the not running out of time part is pretty critical. And he's already used 30 seconds of this turn. I think you, just, you probably make this block, right? Even though you've only got one reroll. Because on a power, it lets you bring up the skeleton to here. 
and then what then what you could do is you could dodge this guy into here and then you've got a 2d blitz which can chain him off and open up the space for this guy a lot better it's mega nerve-wracking like it's insanely nerve-wracking but he's got a oh my god and he won in nines no look for truck Devo casually did two rushes without rolling a one in nine and then Truck just instantly one in nines. Horrible, horrible, horrible dice for Truck here. He needs good dice. He didn't get them. No, he just stands him up. Understandable, understandable. Gets the pow. But, you know, I would have... Oh, wow. So the problem is now he frees this one up, right? The problem is, like, if he, he could have just followed, right? He could have just followed, and then this guy could have dodged it out and got down. Oh, my God. Is he going to try a double rush to score? This is, like... He can't, can he? He can't try the double rush to score. Surely not. He's just got to trust... Also, it might just get another two. It might be a perfect eight turn stall, right? He's actually got a chance. The good thing is that, that, that like, he's actually got a chance of, of drawing this game now and not going out. Whereas I felt it was over earlier. I felt he was going to have to break too early. Or, you know, he was not going to be able to break at all. So. But he's managed to break. Um, at least a little bit, I don't know. The, the, the DP zombie can't really go anywhere, can it? I mean, he could have tried to dodge it, but it, yeah. He couldn't really have done much. But I think, I, I, I think, I wouldn't call it a mistake, whereas I think that, that girl who just stood up, I think he should have followed the hit. Again, like, plan to succeed, right? I think what, what, Truk has failed to do in these games is like plan to succeed um, and it's hard it's hard because most of the game right most of the games Truk's playing he's probably you know even on even or better on teams and you know better on coaching right so it's hard to make that switch thinking, you know, look, I've, I've got to get lucky to win this game. It's a, it's a hard thing to do. But, you know, I think he's got to get lucky to win this game. And that means he's got to try and, you know, he's got to give himself a chance to, he's got to give himself the chance to get lucky. Yeah, Devo just eats that. So it's a dodge without dodge, a dodgeless dodge. To give Devo a two chance with no re-rolls. Straight three plus. I mean, that's pretty great. Honestly, with all of this, to have a three plus to have a chance is pretty great. He makes it. He won't stall now. <laughs> Touchdown dance. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you've got to love it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> oh my god, he got all his chaos back. He got all his, he got 3 out of 4 chaos. He might actually be able to stop the score. Oh, oh my god. The toxicity. Uh, people in Navos chat are saying toxicity. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, Davos got a reroll. Truk doesn't. Davos got a chance. Also, Devo's got a bit of time bank. So, it's doable, 
but um oh <laughs> one of us one of us i like doing touchdown dances right sounds like a i can't i don't get that anybody thinks it's toxic but people do so i stopped but uh i think it's just a bit of fun He's got, honestly, maybe, maybe Mummies on the LOS was the best here, right? It's hard, though. It's hard. I'm not really sure what the best setup here is here. It's, it's pretty hard. It's a pretty hard decision. Like, if you put mummies on the LOS, it's kind of harder to get them, and, you know, he's got to commit more to the LOS to knock down the thing, but then it makes the flanks easy to blitz through, get a sideline cage. He could put them, like, here so that, like, the hinges are harder to go through, but then, it, again, these, you know, he can just slam in a fleshy and go through, so... Really hard to know how to defend this. May maybe completely defending... The LOS was better. No fun in my miniature dice game, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's just fun, but... You know. A blitz? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, he's got to be wary of messing this up. <laughs> Hasn't he? He's got to be very wary of messing this up. But that looks pretty good to just sit mummies in front of the wolves. Oh, man. I'm stressed out and I'm not even playing it. Yeah, it's, this is hard. He can't actually hit the wolf, right? That's the good thing. The thing that Davo's got going for him here is Truk can't hit the wolf. At all. Because he'd have to rush with a mummy. And then it would be an uphill with the with a blitzer. And the danger is now that he leaves Dave over the edge, right? So I guess you've got to blitz. You've got to blitz this zombie. He's already moved four players. He can't blitz. So he's putting this in here, putting the guard in there makes sense. But now I guess Dave going to try and push down the side here. And so the only way, the only way, put wait and go, right? This is the thing. It's the only way and go. He really needed six players. So he could have uh, put the zombie in and uh, skeleton and blitz this guy, and then that would have held that. That would have held the sideline. Yeah, maybe he should have used aggressive chevrons. Then he could have mummy blitzed, and then he might have just one in nine and weakened it. You know, so it could have been even been a mistake to mummy blitz. But yeah, maybe aggressive chevrons, especially in the snow. But then I guess going deeper in the snow makes sense, right? Because Davo's got wolves, and. Uh, it's snowing, so it's, you know, tough call, really tough defense. I mean, it's really a tough offense as well for Davo now. This will be uh, one reroll, deep kick. This is not easy at all for Davo. Flip me. Yeah, that one turn. He did see it. I, I would have kept, honestly, I would have kept like one wolf midfield and what I would have kept one wolf back at all times. Now, it's easy to say that, obviously, watching and saying, oh, this is what I'd have done. I'm not, I'm not meaning it like, oh, I'm so good or anything. I just think that was the correct strategy. I could have also made a mistake, whatever. I think the correct strategy was to, was to always hold that wolf back minimum. And then, you know, like, because he was, because he was so many players up, just keep a wolf back and, uh, and do the best you can with one and just essentially play with 10 versus his like seven or whatever however many he had play 10 versus seven and then uh maybe you know um if something 
happens crazy and you've got a wolf back there to just smash him. Now as it happened, he got the wolf hit on him anyway and then, you know, dice happened after that, but he did pull himself a bit out of position to Dave over yet. Okay, so I think he's going to blitz the zombie to then chain the mummy out of the way so he can get the fleshy downfield as well. After looking like he was setting up a mummy hit. So he's going to have two scoring threat wolves and the fleshy can base this ghoul. So, I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? And then this is the perfect amount in. Eight squares precisely. This one can then go in front. Oh! I would have had the fleshy in there. I would have put the fleshy on basing this guy. Wow. 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 Yeah, I would have million percent put him in there. I think Dave was realised that he kind of had to be screening his wolf, right? But I would have been screening the wolf with him in contact just to try and restrict the school a bit more. Doesn't fail anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a double rush handoff next turn, at best. At best, it's a double rush handoff. Um, and at worst, I mean, he's going to get blitzed and have something in the way. So, this is Naf and it is live, Fymir. Yep. Yep. Going with the live cast, because I wanted to watch this anyway, so, you know, watching it on Davo's channel and then casting it later seemed a bit superfluous. So... You know, we're doing this live, and uh, it is what it is. Is this a ghoul? No, it's a line. Yeah, you've just got to do this. So you can push him to there and then base the ball at least, right? Oh, you. No! No! <laughs> Push him so he's still based, and then base the base the wolf that's gonna. Oh my God, true. Was that a misclick? He's running out of time. Oh my God, that was terrible. Uh, so the reason it's terrible is you push him up so he's he's tagged off, and then you base this so he's tagged off, um, and then you can stand up the guys, and then this guy can try and dodge and tag him, so then everything's tagged. Screening like this is just not as good as tagging things, right? Tagging things is way better. He's got 21 seconds, right? He's got 30 seconds. He has to he has to stand these players up and he has to dodge and tag this flesh goal on. He has to. Oh my god, he's gonna run out of time. Oh my god. The stress. Oh my god. Oh my god, you didn't even stand these players up. What were you gonna do with them, mate? <laughs> So stand your players up. So he actually made it like no defense at all. It's just walk in and then two dice. So he didn't improve anything by that. This guy had to stand that he had to push him to there so he's tagged and he has to tag the wolf. That's what he has to do. And he has to stand these players up first. Not not a good turn from truck, but again you can understand people buckling under the pressure. The pressure is intense, um, and I don't know, obviously, like, you know, people have qualified here through leagues and stuff. You've got no idea, you know, what their experience is, right? Obviously, Davo's played, like, loads of tabletop big tournaments and stuff. Oh, my God, he did the pass. Makes the catch, and that is Truk almost certainly eliminated. It is snowing in Darlington, yeah, that was such a bad last turn from Truk. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Um, 
So you know you've got you've got an idea of history of, of like big games, right? He might be he might be shaking like a leaf right now, Crook. You know you've got no idea. Um, I I found the games very stressful. I'm sure Devo found this stressful, even despite his pedigree of uh, important games and stuff. But yeah, that was a big throw by Truck on the last turn. That he just it was so easy for him to base things and you know make things happen. Um, and he just essentially didn't defend it at all. And uh, yep, yeah, Devo got the four three to win. I mean, that's all it was, wasn't it? Four three at the end of the day. So now I've got Devo. <laughs> now I've got Devo in the round of 16, which is pretty unlucky. Um, there weren't many people that I could have got worse or better, <laughs> depending on your point of view, than Devo. Uh, arguably none, you know. You you could definitely you could definitely argue that. Uh, Devo's the best player in the tournament. I mean, you could also argue that I'm the best player in the tournament. Like, I don't think, you know, I think it's the, it's very close between the top players. Um, but I think he's like, I think without any doubt, he is one of the top, top players in the tournament. And yes, all 64 were good to an extent. And all top 32 were good to an extent. And all uh, top 16 are good to an extent, but even then you can still rank those, can't you? Like, you know, in the World Cup, in the final 16, you'd rather be playing France than Portugal. Um, and there we go, we've got Andy Devo versus Jimmy Fantastic in the round of 16. And uh, man, I would have really... <laughs> you know, that last turn is why I'd have rather had Truck than Devo, right? Like, <laughs> not being mean, um, it, the chances are uh, Dave was going to play better than Truck and has a better team than Truck, so I really did <laughs> for pure selfish 400 euro reasons <laughs> I did want Truck to win and uh, you can see there you know we've got two and a half grand for the winner 1800 for second 1300 800 and four, 400 euros minimum for the top eight and uh, now I've just got to beat one of the best players in the world, so that's good. I mean, but then so does Devo, right? So does Devo. Devo could have also got an easier draw. I'm sure he's not exactly happy about this either. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Congratulations to Devo. Commiserations to Truck. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>